today we're going to be making some sprue glue um sprue goo uh it's an excellent product for filling gaps especially in kingdom death monster so what we're going to need we need some amia extra thin cement this will be a solvent that we're going to use to break down our sprue uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep a bottle of this good stuff for assembly later, but one bottle will be used. You can use this with any type of sprue. For me personally, if I'm doing 40k miniatures, I would want to use the sprues that those models came on. I think that filling gaps with the plastic that uh, the model is made of is just a better process. So we're going to start breaking down some sprue. Alright, once we get a little bit of sprue, what we're going to want to do is open our bottle. I'm going to hold the lid. Was also a fine applicator. We will just keep adding sprue until we're happy with the consistency. I think this will be a good start. And this process will probably take a couple of hours. So we will stitch together the different stages. So you can see the sprue is inside. It will slowly start to soften and then it'll become part of the solvent itself. How model cement works is that it creates a joint between two pieces of plastic by melting the plastic together. Alrighty. All right, so we uh, have definitely made some progress on making some sprue goo. I ended up using a whole sprue. I had to take a little bit of the thinning liquid out of here, or the thin cement. Uh, as you can see, let me zoom in here. I've got a nice layer down here of melted sprue and then some slurry. But it ended up using a lot more plastic than I thought. Uh, so lessons learned so far, definitely would have used uh, a half empty bottle and went from there. I think the process would have been a lot easier instead of using a brand new bottle. So to show you how to use sprue goo, I brought in this lovely model. Uh, one thing, I do have to say is it's extremely detailed. However, there are situations and places where there are huge gaps uh, just from preparing the model. Uh, there's a seam that runs along the tail here. There's a seam here as well. Try to find a good one to show you for this gap filling. All right, so we'll, we'll use this horn here. And basically, once I open this bottle, we'll have a little bit of plastic on the end of our applicator. And we can very easily insert the plastic into the gap. And use our brush to smooth it out. Now it will dry very quickly as the cement evaporates. So I will need to come back in here and clean this up pretty quick. As I don't want to lose the detail of the horns. Now you can see that gap is completely filled. We'll go ahead and zoom in on it. And it is completely Covered and didn't take away from the model, didn't add a whole lot of extra plastic. 
and that is the best use for Sprugu. Thanks again for stopping by my messy desk. Please like and subscribe. Do all the things down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.